Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial presented by Code Cyclone. Today we're going to go over some uh, basic ways to do key bindings in the UDK. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, go ahead and load up your development folder, which if you look in your UDK folder, it'll be whichever build you're working with. Go into the UDK game folder, the config folder, and then load up default input.ini. So that, and once you do that, it's going to look like this, and the very top will be uh, based on base input.ini. Alright, now as you read down, you can kind of get an idea of how these bindings work. Um, those are removed, let's keep going. So removed. There we go. Take this for example. These are game bindable actions, as it denotes here. Alright, and what that is, is it's basically... Uh, how do I put this best? like you have a mapping like this point maps this building kind of deal you know a certain key maps a certain command and the command will be like that so if I press uh, let's see one here if you press spacebar this will get called the command is jump and it's sending in or it's doing this action here alright so it's gonna do this and this and this is a pipe if you're used to Unix um, this is familiar, it's a, uh, just a piping or a uh, an extra bit of information that gets stuck on there. Alright, so you can say like duck here. Duck, and on release, it's going to unduck. And access, it's going to set the speed slow and your absolute access to 100 so you're looking straight. Alright, or right here, command start fire, on release, stop fire. So you get the idea. Alright, and if we go down here, what we're looking for today is these primary default bindings. Actually, ours are a little bit down farther, aren't they? Yeah, here we are. These guys. Alright, and you, you can know you're at the right spot when you see the WSAD. Alright, and what this is, is it's saying bind the name W, which is a key, to the command GBA underscore move forward, and so on and so forth. So you press W, this is called. When this is called, it gets binded to the command that was up there. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add these three. P for pawn swap, R for change AI commands, and F for toggle flashlight. Alright. Now what this is going to do, whenever these are pressed, it's going to look for these functions inside our player controller. Now if you go to our player controller, you can see like toggle flashlight for example. It's defined as an executable function, so a dot EXEC function and its name is the same as defined in the binding except in the binding there's no parentheses alright and then inside of that you're just simply gonna do code like you normally do so in this case I take my pawn from this controller and toggle its flashlight which if we open up the pawn for that let's see there we go toggle flashlight toggle flashlight <laughs> so, there we go. This guy. It's going to turn determine if my light's on or not. It's going to call the event that my flashlight was toggled, which this is some replication stuff you guys don't have to worry about just yet. We'll get into that uh, probably in a tutorial too, actually, which is kind of exciting. I think we've already gotten that far. All right. But it's really that simple. It's uh, bindings. A lot of people have trouble with it, but if you just take the time to go through the different INI files, you really shouldn't have much issue figuring out what's going on. Alright. It should uh, it should be pretty straightforward. But uh, as always, if you guys have any more questions or issues, feel free to send them to me, and we can work something out. Um, but aside from that, till next time, guys. 